This is a story of a lady born from a Christian family moving into a Muslim home and I have to say this is an experience that I'm forever grateful for getting to experience because I got to debunk some of the phobias that I had with this whole community. Uh, everything is ready but of course here yeah, because people are Muslim they woke up earlier to pray for the morning prayer and I'm excited to take you through the whole experience and here is the story of how I moved into a Muslim home. Okay, quick backstory so you can get where we are coming from. This day I decided to go and visit Djibouti and see what Djibouti has to offer. So this is how I am accepted in Kenya. And this is how I am accepted in Ethiopia. And we are about to move into a Djiboutian family representing Ethiopians and me being the Kenyan in me. So as you see, it's a land of Muslims and I'm currently in the train because we have arrived in Djibouti. Apparently, a girl had never interacted with a Muslim family closely or even a Muslim community because I grew up with this perspective that uh, Muslims, one, are not open-minded people, two, they are very conservative, three, they have almost i don't i don't want to say no rights but more of oppressed and apparently i even saw that when i uploaded a video of myself in a hijab someone saying look at you being oppressed and whatever things you're wearing and stuff like this and uh, a one that i actually feel embarrassed to share is i also had this perspective that muslims are dirty apparently because in most of the films that we see or whatever information we have been exposed to especially from where i come from is you see muslims eating together and using their hands and people just diving in and stuff like this and some people consider this unacceptable so i knew this was gonna be a whole experience as you can see i don't i had never put on a hijab continuous for some time i never knew how my interaction with that had to be and also i have to say disclaimer this family was open to take me as i am whether uh they were so willing and friendly to me and they never expected me to maybe change my ways or become a certain type or be anything that's why i love 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 this family thank you so much for hosting me thank you i appreciate the love Ooh. i also have to say <laughs> accommodation in djibouti is not cheap so i was happy and privileged to get a family to host me and that's why i'm taking you through this experience so you guys i met my friend that we made first say hi say and tell hi. us who you are I'm a friend of Dimaris. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, I'm moving to his house today. I'm excited about that. And thank you. I love Djibouti already. Yeah. The police was very, the person stamping my passport was like, welcome to Djibouti. And I was like, thank you very much. So he even came to pick me at the airport, which is amazing. We met in Kenya and now we are here in Djibouti. So I get picked and we drive all the way home. It was fasting season and therefore it was time to break the Ramadan fast. Well, welcome to a new experience that I had never known what I'm supposed to do or not do. But we are here for it. We are here to learn and we are here to embrace everything. Thank you. You are a rich and friendly You are a rich and friendly <laughs> so we arrived at their home place just in time for iftar which is the breaking of the fast and there's no other better way than to arrive around this time because i don't want to come and uh, everyone is fasting then you're there making them feel like okay so what are we supposed to do with this visitor mm -hmm. anyway so had an amazing iftar experience first time experiencing iftar see how healthy this is just ate fruits. We have samosas over there and juices. Fantastic, no better way. So we are done with our after, right? No, God, please, no, no, no! Yeah, which is eating together. But this time it was about breaking the fast as well. Uh, then the men have gone to pray. Why are you not going to pray? I'm just eating out of the <laughs> Okay, then I'm about to change to my dresser. Dresser? What? The dress is called? Sheet. Sheet. Yeah. Sheet. The dress? 
dra 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 and shit dar dar balo close 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 dr dr ah dr dr close to what we say it in kenya dr oh okay so this is me in my dera waiting to put on the hijab then i'll give you a tour of the place tomorrow where i'm staying and everything but first we go for hang out at that night then guys stick watch keep watching in the end i will tell you something embarrassing i have done that i am just keeping on thinking about the whole time oh looking so good thank you remember the damaris that was nervous to even meet the parents and the family and they ended up to be like the sweetest people i have ever met ah probably has the guts to even take me to introduce me to his cousins to his uncles aunties great hangout and i also have to say you know jiputian speak french and arabic and i don't speak either of these i speak in english having them adjust with their small english and trying to interact with me and to converse with me was amazing fantastic now so right now is around almost 11 but because it's ramadan season that's yes. why the city is this active and you wouldn't know it's almost midnight which is interesting but stick around because soon i will take you through an experience of nightlife here in djibouti see there's delivery here it's at night it's called kiki drop kiki drop yeah. oh okay nice <laughs> it's at night oh yeah lay is a kind of a traditional word really i got to go So it continues to be hot and most of the activities we choose to do outside like eating as much as there's a fun in the house anyway this has been my first day it already feels like i've been here for such a long time but it's only first day and it has just been such an experience can't wait to show you more tomorrow for those that are curious what i'm eating rice potato and some some more things that are i think it's i don't, I don't know maybe one day we will join the cooking of the booty food i guess from now i will say good night good morning from Djibouti. so today is a beautiful day and uh, right now it's around 9 30 woke up freshened up woke up around let's say some few minutes to nine uh everything is ready but of course here yeah, because people are muslim they woke up earlier to pray for the morning prayer let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me going through the muslim fasting uh also you know what is so sweet is the fact that because i'm not fasting they made breakfast for me so this is what i'm here to enjoy before we head out for today's adventure which will be in another vlog and you guys have to stick around for that one because you've not seen this content before Djibouti and you take a lot of tea? yeah oh okay take a lot of tea mm -hmm. we eat with coffee for your heart tea or coffee? Tea. what do people mostly take? tea 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 oh it's ready? I can use this milk okay to make tea yeah, to make the tea. This one is <laughs> the bread, but uh, in our bread, mm -hmm. I do like like that. Yeah. Okay. Normally, we're supposed to give him half our pancake because it's Ramadan. Okay, no problem. Yeah. 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 Oh, tasty. This first day really gave me a whole different perspective about many things in this life, especially in the Muslim community. One, they are very loving people and embrace you as you are. And apart from that, uh, being able to understand from where they do things, for example, putting on their hijab and the joy that comes with covering yourself up and the reasoning behind all that made me understand that they don't, they don't feel oppressed as much as some people would be thinking that it is out of not out of choice i appreciated my whole experience and i loved it other misconception that i have to say for sure for sure is being able to know that how clean 
Muslims can be because I never knew that they have to clean themselves at least wash your hands and legs and face and uh, part of your head like five or six times every time before you pray you have to wash these body parts and uh, it was a whole different experience to see and to witness and to even have this commitment to go and pray every season and it gave me a higher and a bigger respect to the muslim community and to anyone who continues to practice all these practices but the love and being part of these people really changed my whole perspective and now i am no longer extremely big on religion especially on the part where you do not understand um, i'm trying to explain this concept without coming out with a con being contradicting and also being controversial and also not addressing anyone's in respect to their religion but i have to say being able to have a whole different experience i have changed my whole perspective about all muslims or majority of muslims and knowing that they are amazing people they are friendly people they will welcome you to their home they'll give you food and you'll just have an amazing time despite of whether there's a season or not i'm gonna continue showing you my experience of how i even joined my whole family i call them my family up to date uh to continue with the ramadan fast fantastic experience you're gonna love it also uh there was there was a little edit of footage here and there because it's good to keep people's private right that's why i did not do a tour where i was staying and stuff like this otherwise i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, got a whole different experience let's kill islamophobia and embrace each other as we are despite some of the differences that we could be having otherwise always always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul until next time